That doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is there some kind of green confetti thing on the Windows 7 startup thing? <laughs> oh no, I think the driver. Oh! Hey guys, the Tell Talker here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Asus Spire 4738G laptop. I asked someone that I can troubleshoot this thing, and I did it in the earlier video. Someone told me that it has some static thing magic on the screen, and I'd be like, "Huh, that might be something shorting out or something like that." But turns out the laptop is functioning fine. When I plug in my mom's laptop charger on to this thing. Okay, so let's have a tour of this machine. On the left hand side we have a Kensington lock, we got a power port, and we got a cooling vent, and oh, one of the fins got dented. <laughs> got a VGA port, and we got Ethernet, HDMI, and of course a USB 2 port. On the front we got the audio jacks, and an SD card reader. Really nice. Oh yeah, some indicated LEDs as well. On the right hand side, we have two more USB ports and of course, a DVD drive. That's the drive that you did not see often on today's laptops. On the back, we got nothing except for the battery. On the bottom, we get some information thingamajig and some grills for venting or something like that and yeah this is where the battery is supposed to go the battery capacity is 4400 milliamp hour battery uh 48 watt hour that's pretty small for a laptop and we got windows 7 coa which got torn off when someone tried to peel off the coa and we got the info about this laptop it's the asus by 4738 yes that's 4738g on the lid it's textured and there's an Acer logo right there. So I grabbed another textured lid laptop like this thing. is the Asus A55 VJ laptop with the Core i5-3210M processor which is essentially two generations newer than this laptop. They both have textured lid. <laughs> this is like a musical texture like the Mate 20. Get that joke, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, I'm done. You well, are Ace it. Doesn't sound like the musical texture. <laughs> Get that what I mean? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Okay, so this laptop had a glossy bezels and as well as a glossy screen, which I really hate about it. My ASUS A43 SD laptop also had the glossy bezels and the glossy display. Speaking of glossy, the screen resolution is 1366 by 768. That's the resolution that I don't like even in today's laptop, some cheap laptops. And I prefer laptops to have 1600 by 900 or 1080p. And on the top of course we get a webcam. Alright, on the palm rest, we get a power button and a power LED right next to the power button. And of course, we get a chiclet style keyboard, which is not in close design. I don't know why Acer did, did this, but yeah. And now they move on to the chiclet style keyboard that doesn't have the enclosed close case design. And we got some stickers here on there, but the shiny die thingamajig on the Core i5 sticker is wearing out. As you can see, we got a Core i5, Windows 7, and, and of course, the ATI Mobility Radeon HD 5470 512 megabytes of video RAM. And there's a spec sticker, which someone never peeled it off. And we got the S5 4738G, Core i5 4680M, 14 inch HD LED display. It's a LCD, I think. ATI Mobility Radeon HD 5470 4GB of DDR3 1066 I believe 500GB hard drive which I don't have right now Okay, there's some correction as I'm editing this video Yeah, the drive that came with the Asus by 4738G was a 500GB 
5400 RPM hard drive with 8 megabytes of cache manufactured in January 14th of 2014. This is not a factory drive. The factory drive actually failed, so that's why some computer technician decided to replace the drive with this. That's the drive that came with this thing. And of course, this drive had Windows 7 installed on this thing, and it does contain some personal data on. I'm not gonna touch on that because privacy reasons. So I decided to replace the drive with a 13-year-old Hitachi Travel Star. 16GB, 7200RPM hard drive that came with the Dell Attitude D620. This is a drive that has Windows 8 Pro installed on, and now I have Windows 8.1 Pro 64-bit on this drive. <laughs> I don't know why I did that in the first place, but I, I shall have a test drive in it just for the troubleshooting purposes. As you can see, the drive is much thicker than the HGSD drive. Look at that. That's some difference right there. That's gonna be about it for the correction of this video, so yeah. And now back to the video. DVD, drive, and of course Acer Amplify. I have no idea what that means. It's the Wi-Fi A211 BGN, and of course we have a 6 cell battery. Looking at the touchpad, it's a tad bit worn out. Look at that reflection. There's a bit of reflection. Touchpad has some wear on it, but other than that, the touchpad still works though. And we got Two physical buttons that was embedded into one plastic. Nice design. Much better than the MacBook style trackpad. What do you expect from old laptops? Speaking of trackpad, the battery still holds a charge when I power it on. And as you see, it boots up just fine. I don't have the hard drive installed on this thing for now. Uh, it beeps when I have the keyboard plugged in. Wanna know why it beeps like that? One of the keys freaked out. Left arrow key does not work. So um, let me get to the BIOS real quick. What do we got here? Core i5 460M. It, it does say i5 CPU M460, that's actually the Core i5 460M, I'm not sure why why Intel decided to label this something confusing in the in the system itself. And we got 4 gigs of RAM, 512MB of RAM, when I first powered it on, this started to text it at, as 2 gigs of RAM. And the F12 boot menu is disabled, so I enable it in the BIOS. So yeah, it's the inside BIOS. Yeah, we have the inside BIOS on the... Acer laptop and this is the HP netbook with the inside BIOS. They're both had inside BIOS. So I did some troubleshooting on this thing since yesterday and I think the GPU might be the culprit and the keyboard is also the culprit that makes this thing beeping every time I boot it up to Windows or something like that. So I'm playing the keyboard and it seems fine. Probably needs some keyboard replacement anyway. And yes, I am not entirely sure what what caused this thing to have some such problems. And yeah, gotta roll the earlier clip right now. Wait a minute, what? What's wrong with the graphics? Why is there some kind of green confetti thing on the Windows 7 startup thing? And on side Windows, it's actually look fine, but. Oh my god, this is probably the worst sign, maybe? Oh my goodness, that might not be the good sign. Not a good sign. Oh! It booted up. <laughs> Alright. That take a while. Uh-oh. I think it's not going to the desktop for a minute or two until I can see the Windows 7 taskbar coming up. And as you can see, there is no keyboard at this moment. Oh, there goes the Windows 7 taskbar. And as you can see, there is no keyboard. That might be the keyboard problem that might cause this, this thing to beep upon starting up Windows. And yes, I had to use my mom's laptop charger. That, that works on this thing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure why I had to use my mom's laptop charger on this. Maybe because most of my charger 
I have laying around but did not work. I could not find the Travel Mate 220 charger. I'm not sure if it will work on this thing. Perhaps not. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh man, preparing to configure Windows. Oh, Windows Kurwa update, please. Windows Kurwa update. Okay, hold on. Here's something funny. I noticed that one of the RAM stick is not inserted properly, so that's why it says 2 gigs of RAM. So I might have to reinstall it the correct way. Um. Um. Wait, hold on. What? I think the metal thing that was supposed to hold the RAM is total, or maybe uh, maybe it didn't snap. Huh. Is that supposed to look like that or something like that? I don't know. I don't freaking know. Oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. I, I'm pretty sure the RAM is okay. And yes, for those who are wondering what type of RAM we have in this thing, well, it's the 2 2 gigabytes of DDR3 1066. It says 10600S something like that. And yes, that's DDR3 1066, not even 1333. Or 1600. Alrighty, bottom cover is in and the keyboard is back in and we'll see if it still gets beep. Let's see if it's still beeping. And by the way, the hard drive that was in this thing was HGST 5400 RPM hard drive. It's a 500 gigabyte capacity and uh, how much cash we have here? Let me check. I'm pretty sure it has 8 megabytes of cash or something like that. I have no clue. I'm gonna go ahead and power on and let's try to get to the BIOS. When I first plug it in and it actually power on, huh, and it did test my, my test drive. When I try to first boot after I plug in my mom's charger when it's actually working, and it's still the test of 2 gigs of RAM. Maybe because the RAM was not installed correctly, probably one of them. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enable F12 boot menu, and save it as it. So, okay. Oh, what? I can hear the beep. Uh oh. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> it could be the keyboard freaked out. Okay, let me try to unplug the keyboard again. Out you go. And let's try turning it on again. It did not beep this time and it does boot to my Windows 8 test drive. Let me plug my Mac keyboard real quick. And my wireless mouse as well because, well, honestly, I prefer external mouse over touchpad because, you know, touchpad is not that practical. And yes, my, my laptop's touchpad is just plain trash. But on this Acer touchpad, it actually doesn't feel too bad. And it does have two physical buttons. And it's not too noisy compared with mine. Huh. Sometimes my right click is not registering. So yeah, that's why I use X in the mouse. Okay. We're booted up to the Windows 8 test drive. I'm gonna put on a tripod real quick. Okay, we're into the Windows 8 lock screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and control or delete to log me in and Hey, that's a good old Eurocam avatar. Okay, we're into the Windows 8 start screen as usual. Windows 8 Pro Build 9200, that's, that's what I have on my test drive. Okay, so what do we have here? Intel Core i5 460M, clock at 2.53 GHz. 4 gigs of RAM, it says 2.99 gigs usable. That's almost 3 gigs of RAM usable. Hmm. And it's 32-bit operating system, x64 base processor. Hmm. Okay, let, let's see if I can lower down the brightness because that irritates my eyes. Oh, there we go. Let's close that out of here and let's check Crystal Disk Info. Oh, there it goes. 
It says caution. Oh no. This is caution. Color panning set to count. I think the driver is gonna die eventually. Let's just eject that real quick. I don't want to check what's on the puzzle data. Oh crap. Hello everyone and welcome to this show. Oh, you know what Windows? <laughs> you for not letting me eject the drive safely. I shove a test drive on every computer I own like my Asus laptop, my HP netbook, my compact, or perhaps a compact that I I have hard drive replaced before. Hey, not bad for a Core i5. First gen, it's a Core i5 460M, codename Arendelle, so it's socket PGA 989, yeah. And it does have virtualization, which is always good. It's dual core with four threads, and it has three megabytes of cache. Huh. Acer board here, four gigabytes of DDR3 1066. Oh, it runs at 667 megahertz. Oof. Okay, display adapters is ATI Mobility Radeon HD 5000. It's a 5470, just keep that in mind. This drives this. The touch drive, which is my test drive. Oh, really? Did the entire system just lock up? Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Wait a tick. I think the... I think something's up with the graphics drive. <laughs> something's up with the graphics drive on Windows 8 or something like that. And it's done. There we go. Finally, after so many. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. All right, we're back. All right, what do we have here in device manager? We have the ATI Mobility Radeon HD 5000 series graphics card. It's a dedicated GPU. The Tachi drive is my test drive. And uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> What? The driver's doing it again! Oh no. Display driver AMD driver stopped responding and has successfully recovered. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, something's not right. But the chance but oh. Okay. Let's try do this again. But this time, I'm gonna try to navigate to audio inputs and devices. We have HD Realtek HD audio devices, if I remember correctly. Huh. And we have four stuff in here. Core i5, 460M. Nothing so special. Imaging devices. 1.3 megapixels of webcam. Ugh, that's a potato quality, like my Asus laptop was. Software devices, eh, nothing too special. Storage controllers. Uh oh, the driver's gonna crash. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> oh no, I think the driver. Oh! Okay, something's not good with the video drivers right now. <laughs> oh my god. And yes. We got blue screen death, I just say oh that fast because it scared the crap out of me. And as you can see we have some bunch of confetti here. <laughs> There's a bunch of white confetti on the Windows 8B SOD, that's not good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and yes, I had to cut the clip earlier when I got this screen. It's because <laughs> my mom decided to yell at me. She told me to stay quiet because, you know, Someone's sleeping. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Why? Why would I do that in the first place? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we can see some more confetti here. <laughs> oh no. So I'm gonna turn it off for now. Okay, so I'm back from the dinner and... I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows 10 on a test drive. So I have no choice but to remove Windows 8 Pro and then put, try to put Windows 10 on this thing. So let's see if I have my Windows 10 disk here. And yes, I do have Windows 10 64-bit anniversary update. 
CD here. I downloaded the ISO straight from Microsoft, so I'm gonna boot to the DVD drive. I hope the drive is working. So. Oh no, I think there are some little confetti, confetti lines are right next to the Windows logo, and it booted. Alright. Epic! Look, 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 more confetti. Think of a jig on the 8.1 wallpaper, huh? Okay, we'll boot him back up, and oh my god, look at that artifacts. Cool. <laughs> That was so terrible! That's that guy! Every time I move the cursor, it, it just going <laughs> worse. Oh my god! What? 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 I mean, look at this. Even I go on the start screen, it, it's, I can still see the artifacts. Oh no. Oh god, this is beautiful. I think the GPU is dying already. <laughs> I can sense that. You gotta love seeing the artifacts. Huh. Microsoft basic display that her no drive is installed yet. And yes, that's my mom's tablet notification. Even with the Microsoft basic display that her driver, it, I still get artifacts. <laughs> the graphics card is about to die, really. Okay, I have connected to the internet and then, oh, it automatically installs. Try it out. Oh no! Yikes! <laughs> what? Oh my god. Something's not right. <laughs> I did connect to the internet and then it installs video driver automatically sometimes. Oh, there it goes. Good thing I caught it on camera. <laughs> oh! I'm dying. Okay, I'm in the safe mode just because the gra something's up with the graphics and it automatically installed this driver. It worked fine with Microsoft Basic Display Adapter but with some artifacts for some reason. After this driver got automatically installed, it decided to give me some glitch. Like, I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall the driver and then we're gonna reboot. Okay, got onto the 8.1 desktop after I uninstalled the display driver. I'm pretty sure it will automatically install the driver again. I highly doubt that. There we go. Yeah, she did. Alright, I'm gonna try to switch automatically. Let's see what happens. There we go, and the Mobility Radio HD 5. Thousand series. Well, let's see if we can just give me the same issue. <laughs> oh, we can see a little bit of red dotted lines on the center and some pretty confetti lines on the device manager window. Oh my god. The GPU is dying, guys. Astonishing. Nice graphics glitch in the very well played GPU. <laughs> okay! Okay, my sound's a bit weird ish, but this is what happens when your GPU is having an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it off for now, at least. And. Yeah, that's the Asus Fire 4738G. Troubleshooting stuffs and shenanigans, so yeah.